Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about The Collector by John Fowles. I have to admit, I went into this with slightly wrong expectations. I don't know how I did get this wrong. I always thought this book was about a butterfly collector who got insanely collecting other things. It is about a butterfly collector, but it's mostly about the butterfly collector kidnapping a young woman and locking her up in his basement. It was a very captivating story. It wasn't what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but I was very surprised. But it's mentioned on the back, so if I ever read backs, I would know what books are about. So with this wrong expectation, I started reading this book and the more you read in the beginning, in the first part, you notice this is not about collecting. This is about something else. I think I wouldn't have picked this up ever if I had known what it was about. So I'm glad I didn't know because this book the writing is amazing. You just get sucked into this character who follows this young woman and then gets into money so he can kidnap her and lock her up and the events following that. That's the first part of the book. You have it from the young man's narration, but it's first person narration he tells you and you get a feeling for him, for the woman and the things that are going on. The second part turns around and you get diary entries from the young woman he kidnapped. And I was very fascinated by how certain events look different because you're looking at the same events up to this point from her point of view. And you also get what's going on in her mind, what she thinks, her ideas about life, society and her character. And I kept thinking that I should be on the side of the victim. I should be on her side. I should be liking her but she's such an unlikable character she's been unlikable before not that the kidnapper is likable but i found it fascinating that the writing from his point of view was much more enjoyable than anything that she had to say and the way her diary style entries turn out to be she has a lot of views and judgments for class and art and people and there's quite some criticism in there and I thought it was very interesting to read and also the feelings you get as a reader about the characters. Then the third and fourth part switch back to the young man and we see how everything turns out. I'm not going to spoil you with that. But what really fascinated me that despite this being such a drastic and dramatic and exhausting topic you could just fly through it. You were glued to the pages. You were really invested and participating in what was going on. Not in a disgusting way. I was never disgusted by what happens. I have to mention, if you're worried about rape or anything like that, that is not happening. And what I really liked about this book is how it made me feel while reading it and the thoughts I had also while reading it about the time it was written in, in the 1960s and the points of view the characters have on life and on their social status and what they expect and what's going on. And also the woman's thoughts were very interesting, not likable, but very interesting in how she processed her life and her activities. And you always had in mind that you couldn't probably trust her opinions and everything completely because she wrote it in this drastic or dire state that it's questionable how much of that is really how she thinks and how she is. And I thought it was very, very interesting. I can highly recommend this book to anyone who was thinking about reading it or anyone who ever heard about it and thought it was about something completely different. Of course, I'm interested if you have read the book, what you have thought about the book, if you had a similar experience than me that you were sucked into the characters despite not liking either of them. I think it's always nice when that happens, that you're still invested in a story despite not liking any of the characters. Let's talk in comments about The Collector. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.